OK, so we're now in section 7. And as you can see there, we have 07 schematic reporting set up as our project. What I'm going to do is add the creating reports drawing to our schematic reporting project. So it's a right click, add active drawing, and yes to the project default values. So that's now been added to our schematic reporting project. I'll double click there, and there's the drawing there. Notice it's taken on board the numbering from the update retag. So I need to right click there, properties, drawing properties. I want that sheet number to start at 0, 1, like so. So I'll go down here, click on OK, job done. That'll update for me. And you can now see that we've got 0, 1, creating reports. That's our current drawing. So, how do we create reports in AutoCAD Electrical 2010? First step, up to the ribbon here, and click on the Reports tab, like so. Now, we did look at the schematic panel when we did the audits, the electrical audit, the drawing audit. To the right of that, you've got Reports. Don't worry about the automatic reports or report format setup just yet. What we're going to look at is this Reports icon here. Now I'm going to click on Reports, and there's a lot of information here in the Panel Reports dialog box. And I'm just going to cover a little bit of it to introduce you to it first. So we're going to look at a Bill of Materials report name there. We're going to do it for the entire project, or you could use just the Active Drawing. In my case, I'm going to use the Active Drawing. And the options there I'm going to include are all of the above. And down here, my display option is normal tallied format. I can obviously use other formats. As you can see, I've got a tallied format with group by installation location. I've got display in tallied purchase list format. That will allow me to purchase the objects. So I can send that off to a manufacturer or a supplier. They will be able to provide me with the components, for example. I can also freshen the project database with this information. Installation codes to extract, all, named installation, or blank, same with the location codes. I'm going to leave those as all. So when I OK that now, it'll ask me to save the drawing. I'll say OK to that. It updates, and then it generates my report. Now you'll see there, down at the bottom, I have no data to display at the moment. There's no actual data linked to this drawing that will allow me to actually generate a report right now. That's because I haven't linked anything. These are just components that have been dropped into a circuit for the purposes of the training within this VTC title. So as we work through this schematic reporting section, our 07 schematic reporting project, we'll look at how to change that and get this working so that we can generate reports and generate information for people to work with our project.